This exercise is three different kinds of uh, footwork in connection with forehand defence. The first type, defensive footwork on your forehand side, is where you're actually crossing behind with your left leg. You're standing, you have low center of gravity, you're ready, you see the shot is coming, you're moving behind and then play the shot. So it's, it's all about, again, very low center of gravity, pushing off on your left, get behind and then get to the shot as quickly as possible, of course. You're using this type of footwork uh, when you have to reach all the way to the sideline when it's not enough just to move one step with your right foot but you actually really have to get uh, good distance and, and get to the sideline. So it's, again we have the split jump, we have the cross back and then of course getting as far as we can quickly back into court. The second type of uh, defensive footwork on your forehand side is, is, is a very simple one. Again, we're starting off with the, the split jump and then it's simply just one step with your right foot and then blocking it. it. That is when you are anticipating well and it's also if the shot from your opponent is not all the way to the sideline, you don't need to move all the way out, but it's enough just to make that lunge on your right foot and then blocking your shot or whatever you want to do. The third type of defensive footwork on your forehand side is obviously diving towards the, the sideline and once again we're starting with a low center of gravity, you're diving towards uh, the sideline and it's something that's new coming into the game, not something that used to be when I played so many years ago, but of course it's into modern badminton and it's something that is very very common and used and it's all about when you're diving. It's all about how you get back up and quickly into position again. That's very, very important. The basic techniques in doing the, the dive on, on the forehead side, I would say there are three important things to remember. The first thing is you actually hit the shuttle in the air, so you kind of let yourself fall uh, out if you're right leg. You just basically fall out to the right side and then you hit the shuttle while you're in the air. The second thing to remember is the, the landing. That's extremely important. Many players, they might land with their racket faced like this, so they kind of use the frame to hit it to the net, or to the ground. Um, we would like to avoid that, so the racket needs to be faced towards the ground, so you're able to get the push off as well um, once you land. Another important thing is when you dive, the third thing is your landing, that you're not coming like this. So um, my back is faced against the net and I have no overview of what's happening on my opponent's side. So it's really important that I try to still stay focused and faced towards the net. So it looks like this and up, this and up. <laughs> 